So ladies and gentlemen, I'm leaving for Across the Spider-Verse very, very soon. So I'm going to try to get this up as quick as possible for you guys and talk very, very fast. But first, I want to say thank you so much. I was not expecting to wake up this morning after getting like 40 to 80 views on most of my videos. That's literally my channel's typical for my new gaming channel, GG Lounge. Thank you guys so much. I woke up to 20,000 plus new views on my Scott June world record video. It's not it's just meant as a joke, of course getting the stabbing grandpa that many times in Texas Chainsaw. But thank you to all the new subs, uh, all the new followers on all my different socials, all the people that went over to my main channel, just Gavin Bennett, and are following there as well. Thank you so much. It helps me out a lot and keeps me motivated to keep making more videos. Anyways, back in the tech test, I recorded my reaction. Oh my gosh, I hit my mic. To all these different things that were in it, they showed off the like the skill trees. You can go to a different menu and find the skill trees. There was all these descriptions here of all of the different aspects of the meta game that's coming very, very soon to Texas Chainsaw when the full game releases. As you can see right here, another skill tree for one of the characters. And it just gave us a lot of info on how the progression would work in the game. So I kind of wanted to share that with you guys. I haven't seen many people do that yet. I couldn't find, I have hours and hours of recorded footage of the tech test. And I could not find my reaction to looking at these menus. Maybe I deleted it. Maybe it was in one of my first videos. Luckily for us, Joseph Moonlit, who is the digital media creator for the game, tweeted out these screenshots and gave his thoughts on what it all means. So yeah, I'm going to be using his screenshots. So shout out to him. So, I, and I want to say also before we get started, I will not be covering any leaks in this video. Um, I'll go over some things that I know, but like, I'm not going to talk about really any leaks at all. I don't want to do that to the devs or anything. So we will not be discussing that stuff. We only got to wait three months, guys. It's we calm down with all the, the, the leaks and stuff. Let the devs reveal it on their own. I want to see it, um, how it actually comes out. Anyways, as we can see here, this is how one of the screens is laid out. You obviously have the character here, character here, and their ability. Mame for uh, Leatherface. And I think Anna's is it's called something. I actually have not memorized the ability names yet, or I'm not going to be able to memorize these perks. DBD, I know like the back of my head. Like I know the per name and description of every perk in the game. Tell me any Marvel snap card. I'll give you its exact stats. Um, it's going to take me a while to learn Texas Chainsaw though. Going to need to ingrain this stuff in my head. But yeah, as you go through skill trees, um, or every character already will have unique stats down here. Different toughness, endurance, strength, proficiency, stealth, and other things for the killers as well, like how much blood they collect, how much damage they do, and how fast they run out of stamina. Right here, we can see that she has three perks on. This one is obviously, like everyone in the beta had the same, or in the tech test had the same perks, and I knew what they did because they were happening as the game went on. This one happened, this little um, valve perk. I think when they have blue, they mean they give you like aura reading or sight into things. Or maybe they're color coded to give you extra, like this one gives you extra toughness as well as it does a certain effect. But it was every time you picked up a valve or picked up a fuse or one of the items that would lead to an escape, it would highlight the area for you. That's what that one does. So you'd pick up a valve off the wall and it would tell you, it would outline the aura of the water pump that you have to bring it to. So that's a very useful perk for new players. And I'm guessing that's why they gave everyone that perk in the tech test. This one right here, every time an exit is opened, um, it highlighted and it had a little cooldown on it for the gate that opened. Again, another great perk for new players so that once a gate actually opens, you'll be able to go find it. That actually might have been this one too. They kind of have like the same logo almost. Um, maybe it's actually mixed between one of the, both of these. I actually might not know what this one does. I might have to look back at the gameplay, but... Usually if you just look at people's gameplay and look in the bottom right, you can see when the perk activates and you can find out what they do. And I don't exactly know what all of these ones do that the killers have, but they all have their own unique things as well. And we can obviously speculate on what some of these do. Like this one is a strength symbol with a plus. Probably gives you better toughness, more health maybe. This one looks like it helps you disarm traps because that's a bone trap and a hand reaching for it. This one, a silence on the chickens. So maybe it's like spies from uh, DVD where you don't get detected by crows, but you don't get detected by chickens in this game. Tons of things like that where you can just speculate on what these do. Maybe post your thoughts to the Reddit of what they might do. But just remember, people, some people out there know because things are leaked. So don't do too much speculation because people are going to actually spoil the game for you. But yeah, you get to individualize your character. 
So abilities, each character has a unique ability. Victims help in escaping the family, while family abilities help track and capture victims. Using your abilities effectively and working with your team will mean the difference between success and failure. Perks. Perks buff your character stats and abilities. Customize your perk loadout to adjust each character to better fit your playstyle. Each character can be equipped with up to three player unlocked character specific perks. So by player unlocked, I think it means like you progress your player level, just your overall account level maybe. And you can spend any of those points on any character's perk trees and then unlock those character specific perks. And then those character specific perks um, can go on to any other character, kind of like teachables in DBD. And it kind of works the same way because in DBD you can use your blood points that you can play. You can play as killer, unlock blood points, and use it all on survivor if you want. I think that's what that means. Player unlocked. I just, it just kind of makes sense that way. You can play the family as much as you want and spend all of your player unlocked XP onto this one survivor. Maybe, but that, that might not be how it works. Grandpa abilities. This is a big one because grandpa was pretty weak in the tech test for most people. And they all found out that there's really no reason to feed him blood. It's just a lot of animations you have to go through. A lot of walking over here collecting blood when victims can escape in two minutes. So you don't have time for all those animations. You don't have time to go collect blood. But once grandpa gives you unique abilities, it's going to be a lot better and more uh, worth your time. So this was not in the tech test, but family members can equip an ability for grandpa that affects both teams. And I'm guessing it's going to be once you load in the match, each one of the family members, all three of them, get to decide one ability for grandpa. Or you equip three on your loadout, and whenever grandpa levels up, um, he gives you those three abilities this person their own three abilities and the other person their own three abilities but if it's more of a team effort thing and you go in with three abilities as a family then each person probably only picks one family members feed grandpa blood to grow their family bond the higher the family bond the more abilities grandpa utilizes making the family more dangerous victims however can attack and incapacitate grandpa to reduce the family bond and temporarily disable his abilities so yeah we still don't know how that exactly works but as you feed grandpa, you'll unlock even more abilities, probably the most OP ones in the game because um, they're going to be limited to having to feed grandpa. Maybe things that reduce the overall family's stamina usage or something crazy. Maybe everyone gets like a 50% bonus damage if you get to the third tier of ability. I don't know. Executions. Each family member has a choice of executions for dispatching victims. Show your brutality and dominance over your victims in mad and macabre ways oh my gosh i can't read anyways this is like what everyone has requested in dbd for so long which is custom moris like dbd mobile for example you can have multiple moris on different characters in this game you can have multiple different types of executions kind of like i guess i can compare it to apex legends if you're going to do a finisher on someone you can buy different finishers in the game to make it unique to how you want it i guess Choosing your fatality in Mortal Kombat. That's basically what this is. You're going to be able to unlock different types of executions. Maybe in one of them, you slice someone's neck. Maybe in one, you pick them up and stab them a billion times. I don't know. Things like that. Executions. Pretty cool. Unique customization. Also, disclaimer, maybe it's not a customization thing. Maybe they already showed that off in the tech test. And that's just that you get to regularly do a normal execution. Or you get to sometimes pick them up and bring them to a map execution spot. So maybe there's not customization like that, but we don't know. It does say individualize your characters up here. So I would guess that you have a ton of different executions you can do. Attribute points. Unlock attribute points in the skill tree to customize your character. Blend your playstyle with their natural abilities. Boost attributes like movement and action speeds. Detection ranges, stealthiness, and more. And this is exactly what we saw on this screen here where this person put plus two points in a toughness, plus 10 into stealth, uh, plus three into proficiency, all that stuff. And each character is gonna have their own set of these um, things. So for example, this character is a very strength heavy character and a very proficient character, but pretty weak when it comes to toughness. But of course you can just put all your attribute points in a toughness and make her a tougher character. And then since everyone has their own character unique specific uh, skill tree with their own unique perks to unlock, this is one of the characters perk trees or skill trees so you start down here you can choose go left go right go up here 
um, choose your path over here, and the rest get X'd off, much like a blood web, I guess, and the entity eating them. Seems like they unlocked a perk here, here, green perk here, red one here. I don't know what the colors mean exactly, if they're that other character specific perk, or if they're just like color coded for toughness. This one helps with stealth, this one helps with agility. And up here, the little star symbols, those are your attribute points. And by the end of a character being fully leveled, I'm guessing you have like 20 or 30 extra attribute points to put into your character to customize them to your playstyle. Unlock and craft unique skill sets. Progression. As you play matches in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, you will earn experience for your actions. So this is different than attribute points. This experience means progression for perk levels, abilities, and earning points that can be used to unlock more nodes in the skill tree. So yeah, you use your XP for the skill tree. And through the skill tree, you can get attribute points, perks, all that. Skill tree, oh, I guess we're going to go over it. Each character's tree is unique with several branches to traverse and unlock the character's potential. Not all paths can be traveled at once, so experiment to make the most out of each character's out of each character to suit your playstyle. Once you have unlocked perks, attribute points, and other abilities, equip them via the loadout screen. So other abilities is a little confusing to me because I thought each character has their one unique ability and maybe they just worded it here wrong, but like, cause I imagine someone like Leland, he has the shoulder charge, he can instantly stun a family member, right? Does he have other abilities than that that you can put on to make him unique? Or will he always, uh, Leland, will he always have a shoulder charge? I don't know. I don't know. This is the only line that really confuses me in this whole thing. But uh, yeah. Change and adapt. If you change your mind or want to try something different, you can reset a character's skill tree and try a new path of potential. Spend the points again to experiment with different strategies. So much like in Borderlands, you got three different skill trees you can go up. Um, but you can always reset it and get all your points back and go try a different path. So yeah, we're going to have to wait for the full metagame breakdown by um, the developers to know exactly how this works. It's still a little confusing now, but this hopefully will clear it up with some people. Uh, I know some people don't even think perks are coming to the game. They say that's like a myth. As someone told me on Reddit, they're like, we don't know for sure if perks are coming to the game. They're coming to the game. Don't worry. Skill trees and huge amounts of progression are coming to the game, so do not worry about that. It is all here. But yeah, anyways, just wanted to give you guys this little info dump here, just in case you didn't know skill trees or any of that was coming to the game. Take with what you will with this information, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon.